What we're going to do today is yeung, zhao chao fa, recreating a scenario so that everybody can be able to cook fried rice at home without the intense heat um, of an open flame. This is a very, very old pan and somehow I've dropped it too many times and the heat doesn't transfer too well. So this is a great opportunity for me to share with you how to make fried rice without all the bells and the whistles. Fried rice is the original sustainable dish. It's all about using leftovers. Very simple. Rice, eggs, some meats, typically cha siu, leftover cha siu, some cooked ham, and some cooked prawns. If you want the crunch in the prawns, there's two things you can do. Boil the prawns, cook them, take them out immediately and put them in ice water. That'll retain the crunchiness. Another thing we can do is defrost the prawns in soda water and that retains the crunchiness of the prawn. So if you have tiger prawns um, that typically, if you leave them over time, they get a bit mushy. Those are great prawns to put into soda water. Um, and then you can wash it a little bit with some cornstarch and then it retains its crunchiness. Typically I like to add oil using a spoon. I have two eggs in here, beat it so that once I pull it up, it sort of breaks immediately. The light soy sauce is very, very good for flavoring the egg at this point. I know nobody does this. Nobody does this, but we're gonna flavor the egg ever so gently with light soy sauce. That way, I'm not trying to stir fry stuff and try to flavor. And when I try to flavor this way, what happens is maybe only one part of the rice gets the soy sauce and the other parts of the rice kind of lead to mix together a little bit well. If I flavor the eggs, the eggs are gonna go everywhere and therefore the flavor and the soy sauce is gonna go everywhere too. Extremely satisfying way to make fried rice. You get it in restaurants, it's called gum bao nan, okay? Gum is gold, nan is silver. Gum bao bao is to cover or to wrap. Gold wrapping silver. The egg is gonna wrap the rice when it's cooking so that every piece of rice is covered with a layer of egg. Overnight rice, break it up, goes in. Use two spatulas. A wok will allow you to pump and push and be re really pro about it. But if you have a shallow pan like I'm using here, you wanna use two spatulas to kind of break up the rice and help you toss like this, hit it with salt, okay? No need for MSG, no need for soy sauce. Toss and turn the rice. The egg goes on top and it completely covers the rice. But because the flame isn't hot like we have in restaurants, you're not gonna, if you toss it like this, it's not gonna cook well. It's not gonna fry well. So we need to pan fry it a little bit before we start tossing it kind of making a, a rice omelette. <laughs> Turn it around. We have a low flame and we're trying to fry rice. We can push the rice to the side like this. A little bit of oil in the middle, which is the hottest part of the pan. Add our prawns, our cha siu, the ham. We just want to caramelize a little bit, not too much. It's already cooked already. And then you start incorporating the rice. Like this. So I don't have to do any fancy movements. I don't have to do any kung fu with my pan. Flatten the rice out a little bit like a paella so that I can caramelize some of the rice. I'm gonna add some vegetables. And the only vegetables in here, and that's how I find that you should actually consider, is lettuce. Lettuce should, by its nature, wet the rice as it cooks. Now we start tossing again. And now you see the makings of what you would see in a restaurant. Yeah, and Seasoning of salt. And that's it. 